guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episode 8 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragons. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hmm? Coney. Hmm? Father oh, Father Strikeouts, yeah. Peace and joy. <laughs> oh, why? No. But Loka, I, I don't think it's for you because he said Father's Day. No. <laughs> no, honey. Are you sure? Hmm. <laughs> I hope so. Hmm. 
can tell him. Oh, God. Oh, good job, baby. Good, because that's what you wanted, huh? Kobayashi, in a way, you are. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because Kana got two moms. <laughs> mm. When somebody gets sick. Seriously, so COVID wouldn't even affect you, baby? Who knows? Maybe Toru and everybody else got the fucking antibody slash vaccine and cure. Uh, oh. Mm, she just needs some food and some sleep. Just be there for her, give her some food. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, Toru. <laughs> Couldn't you have just waited until he finished explaining? Exactly, that's why you should have waited. <laughs>
Well, something hot, like some soup. Porridge, yes. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, you actually ate all of it. Uh huh. Or just go on YouTube. YouTube has everything. Yeah, she'll be fine. No, oh, no, baby, it's not like that. A cold is just a cold. <laughs> Toro. Hey, Kana. Oh, well, damn. This girl traveled to the ends of the fucking earth. God damn. See? Exactly. Yeah, she's fine. Just needed some sleep and some food and some medicine. Oh, baby. You did good, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, you might even grow a damn tail. <laughs> but at least she's happy. Not a tail. <laughs> well, yeah, you got a tail. Let's well, thank God it wasn't a dragon's tail, though. I guess so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, damn, Taka. I mean, it's like a day, though.
<laughs> oh, come on now. I mean, you obviously have a crush on her, sir. <laughs> I mean, besides Take, Zenitsu was very showing, like, hell a lot today. <laughs> Also, a little bit of your Kokichi, but not as much. Mm. I guess so. <laughs> no, no, Take. She's she's fine. Precious baby. Far. That's fine. Yeah, you know, you can go home and be a moody teenager. Well, damn! This is Dobby speaking shit, damn. <sighs> Oh, he's so sweet. you know, somewhere. <laughs> Someone amazing. But it's still special to you, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Okay, they're cute together, like, dead eyes. Like, this was a really cute episode. I think this is now officially my second favorite episode, because, of course, the, mm, the, the, <laughs> the amusement park episode was my favorite, to also have the moment between Kobayashi and Toru. But for this episode, specifically talking about Itadu and Take, it, it was sweet. And, I mean, the fact is that, you know, Take, I mean, not Take, Itadu wanted to do everything in her power to return this doll to its right owner and such. And even with the help of Kobayashi and Toru. And you know, Take wondering, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like how this girl came down from the sky and be like, um, what the absolute fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Are we going camping? We're going camping. I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Once again, as I told so many people when I watched Laid Back Camp Season 1 to Season 2, <laughs> and my friends, and then also watching the most, like, mm, the second to last episode of American Horror Stories, your girl ain't going camping. <laughs> like, I, I don't really care. Like, mm -mm. we can go camping inside the house. <laughs> But it was also cute that Shota made a talisman for his dad for Father's Day. And how poor Loka. Loka thinking Father's Day was tits day. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, especially this was a really good episode for Shota, Loka, Take, and Iridu. And their relationships with each other and such. And I think like really any moment between any of the characters of this show, um... Is really good, but when we specifically get like your favorite characters every single week getting a time to shine, it's sweet and it's adorable. I mean, the fact is, like, at first, Take was about to leave Itadu, and I was like, oh my god, like, yeah, your Dobby is speaking right now, bro. Like, you are literally saying, fuck this girl, I'm going home. Like, I, yeah, I'm a moody fucking teenager, like, fuck this. But no, he came back and he fell <laughs> over, which was so sweet. Like, oh my god. But something also tells me, I, I'm kind of hoping that by the time we finish season two, and let's say this show possibly gets a season three, because I really want this show to continue on and stuff, but it really depends on, like, um, how, like, wherever the, wherever I can see this season ends, one, and how far or close they are in the manga with us, 
Um, but let's say by the end of this, Take does find out that Iridu and Toru and Elma and Kana and Fafamir and Loka are all dragons because something tells me he's going to have to find out before this series is over. I mean, he already knows that Iridu is strange as fuck. So, I mean, you know, and then also meeting Kobayashi and seeing Toru dressed as a maid. Yeah, he's highly suspicious of Kobayashi and Toru. And he's wondering, like, yeah, especially how when she came down on Toru's back and then, you know, hey, she comes out of nowhere. He's like, where the fuck did this girl come from? I feel like, oh, she's just special. <laughs> just special. That's all we have to say. But, yeah, big high hopes that, you know, he really finds out because I think it would be really interesting because the fact is, Technically, really, everyone else, I don't think, well, no, it's obvious that Shota knows, but, um, oh my god, uh, the, uh, Fafamir, who, who's room with Fafamir, I don't think he knows that shit about Fafamir, but, well, no, I think he does, so, yeah, I think everybody freaking knows that everyone else are dragons, well, no, it's of Psycho, Psycho does not know that Kana is a dragon, so, it would be nice for really Cycle and, and Take to know. So hopefully that happens by the end of this season. I really would like it and I think it would be really awesome. But the thing is, they would also have to keep that secret. So their lives would also be just as endangered as Kobayashi's is every single day. And they would possibly have to deal with the same situations that Kobayashi had to deal with towards like the last few episodes of season one. So who really knows? Because with Kana... Um, yeah, Kana, Fafanir, Elma, Loka, Kana, Fafanir, Elma, Loka, Edidu, that's what I'm forgetting. With those five, we really don't know, well, what Edidu we kind of really did, um, in the early episodes, but with those four, we haven't really seen, like, their family, so something kind of tells me that if everyone else finds out about them being dragons, everybody's family is possibly going to come down here and be like, hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> You are not supposed to be sitting here telling humans that dragons exist. It's just like that. Like, no. <laughs> but something tells me it might happen. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matches Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 9. Bye, guys.